I'm very, very slim. But one, one thing people don't understand that I really put in the work. You know, yeah. like, I, I've only been doing this for two years, but I really, like, do it full time. You know, mm -hmm. I, I work with world champions. You know, I spar with world champions. Uh, I, I, I spar with amateur fighters, and people, people don't understand that. And so yeah. every time I'm winning these fights, like, they're like, oh, they're making excuses. They're like, oh, nah, yeah. he's fighting some of them, not difficult, yada, yada. So, like, but I'm taking things one step at a time because I'm still new to the sport. You know, yeah. I'm, still, I'm still learning every single day, but we're, we're going to take things to the next level, you know. Like, um, but my first fight, you know, I broke the dude's nose. Not mm -hmm. bad for my first fight. Mm -hmm. Second fight, I went in 30 seconds. And the third fight, it ended up in a vicious knockout in the yeah. third round. So, like, the fourth fight, I, I wonder, what, we'll see what's next in the fourth one, you know. It all depends if you watch The Matrix before you do that <laughs> fight or not, bro. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, you'll get those kind of like really good like uh, swaying, bro. You watch it and you see. <laughs> Guys, welcome to another episode of Jibber with Jabber. I don't know how to start this because I just got some information that I just don't know how to deal with, to be honest. Um, let me introduce the guest first. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that, but Slim Al Bahar, how are you doing, bro? Hey, what's Slim's up? Slim's in the building, Slim's in the house. Hey, AJ, man. Yo, I just want to say thank you for having me on the show, man. First thing I gotta say, the studio is insane, bro. Honestly, it's yeah, crazy. We, we don't do things in halves at Boozle, bro. We, uh, yeah. Bro, next level, man. Honestly, I'm loving it, man. But I appreciate you having me on here, man. Bro, listen, I know this is gonna be a controversial episode anyway, because we're gonna talk about a lot of shit. But to be honest, I'm not even excited about that anymore, because you just told me that you ain't seen The Matrix. and. I don't know where to. I don't know how to feel about that, bro. <laughs> oh man, I, I should never said that, huh? <laughs> None of them. I, 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 there's three of them. How there's many? four now. Oh, there's four. This is the fourth that's out. Really? Get out, leave, no, guys. This was an episode with me and Slim. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you got everything that you wanted to out yeah. of the episode. Um, so yeah, let's uh, bring on the next episode. <laughs> that's the first thing I'm gonna do when I, I, after this episode. I'm gonna go home and watch the Matrix. We'll go home. We're gonna put it on the screen for you now. Bro. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch it during the episode, bro. It's amazing to have you here. Um, good to have you in Dubai and everything. Let's uh, get started. Let's talk about the beginning because obviously you made your your career from from YouTube, right? Yeah. I mean, it's always weird, right, when people say you meet people and they're like, "What do you do for a living?" and you say, oh, "I'm a YouTuber." They're like, does, did that ever feel weird to you? Well, now it's kind of like the new thing, you yeah. know, like every like content creation. If you go to a school now, like a public school, and you ask some ask the kids like, "What do you want to be when you grow up?" They say YouTuber. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's crazy because back in the day, like. Nobody like really, they were like confused, like YouTuber. Like yeah. even when I first started out, like I was making YouTube videos, my parents were like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, but that's just because you are Arab, bro. Yeah. Anything that's not a doctor <laughs> or a surgeon or an engineer, they're like, what are you doing, bro? You're yeah. embarrassing us. I cannot tell my kids, my, like tell my friends that you're a comedian. It doesn't make sense. Yo, that's exactly what it was. Cause you yeah. know, like that, that's the route I was going actually in college. You know, I was, I was studying pre-med. Pre there know? you go, bro. Yeah, I was, I was doing good in school too. Like I was getting straight A's and everything, yeah. bro. So like my parents were like, my mom was bragging to everybody. Yo, my son's going to yeah, be yeah. a doctor. He's going to yeah. go to medical school and stuff. And then, I, you know, I don't know, I kind of fell in love with the YouTube game, you know, because that's all I was watching when I was like mm. growing up. Like I wasn't watching like TV or anything. Yeah, I was yeah. watching or uh, I was watching YouTube videos and YouTubers. And mm. then I, I kind of fell in love with like content creating and making skits and stuff. And that's how it first started. And I, I just jumped into it. And mm. I was in college at the same time, you know, making videos. And um, I, I don't know, man, it just like it just took off, bro. Like, you know, like it, it took off. I met a lot of people through YouTube and making videos like mm. one, one of my closest friends today. Um, Adam Sada, who's also a YouTuber, like shout out Adam, shout out my boy Adam, man. Uh, we uh, we we got very very close, you know, because we made videos together every single day. So how did that happen? How did you guys um, end up meeting and doing that? Because it's quite because you know you got the so you got you had Logan Paul and 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 you know that crew doing it, and in different countries you know you got KSI and his little crew. You lot kind of represent the Arab crew, like of, of YouTube, right? Yeah, kind of. Especially uh, when it comes York, to America. Yeah, yeah like, America. Do you know what I mean? And when you first started, it was like these are the Arab lot of, of the. <laughs> yeah. Of the thing. Yeah, there's like everybody got their own like little yeah, yeah. Like, little clicks. But uh, when I first started out, like I was making these skits on YouTube, and Adam, uh, he was he was doing uh, skits as well with True Story SA, and um, he had a little. He was known in the Yemeni community, you know, mm. like the Yemeni community was very Yemeni community is very small, so people yeah. knew who he was, and uh, there was or, they were organizing they were organizing a little show in my neighborhood like called Air American Got Talent and they wanted like, you know, somebody to like host the event that mm -hmm. was like kind of well known and uh, we got, uh, they, uh, they got Adam to host it. And this, this event, the, the, like this whole organization, it was like literally down the block from my house. Mm -hmm. So I was like a part of it, you know, like helping them out and stuff. And I, I met him through this. And uh, you know, we, we did, uh, we helped prepare the show together. We did the show. And after that, we, uh, Ramadan came up and we started making videos every single day in Ramadan. And that's what kind of got us very, very close. And mm -hmm. ever since then, you know, like 
from there, it, like we made vlogs and the vlogs popped off. We ended up doing shows like all over the world. We traveled the world together. We did shows all over the UK. Uh, we we did Scandinavia. We did the Middle East, all over the USA. Like it's, it's from there, like we've just been doing everything together. Like it's been mm. like eight nine years now. Yeah, when you meet someone that kind of, especially at that y young age. I mean, it's not young, but I'm like almost forty. So as far as I'm concerned, that's young f for me. Like that's the kind of age where you meet the one or two guys that are there for life, right? Like yeah. where you, you meet your like your day ones kind of thing. So especially you guys doing the same thing, you know, going for the same thing. You're both Yemeni, yeah, right? So it was just like, it was meant to happen, right? It's, uh, yeah, it's, cra it's crazy, man. It's crazy how everything happened, man. Uh, but like, yeah, we're both, we're both Yemeni. We, we both like making videos and uh, it, it's just, man, it's surreal how everything happened. But like, that's my brother for life, bro. Like yeah. literally we do everything. We, we, we even box together. Yeah, like yeah. It's, it's crazy. How did that conversation happen when you, <laughs> when you went to your mom and you're like, yeah, so about this medical thing. <laughs> oh my God, so like... Like, draw out that conversation for me so, when you told her that I'm done with, with studying. <laughs> so the funniest thing is that the person that kind of like helped me drop that was Adam. You know? <laughs> the bad influence. Bad, bad now, yeah. I, I wouldn't say it was him, but like I, I was in Was school. he in med school? No, no, he, he, dropped, he dropped out. Like he, he, he would lie to his parents that he was going to college every day, but okay. he'll go outside and make vlogs. You see, so that's what he wanted. He was yeah. like, all right, I'm fucked. So I need someone else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm going to look bad. So if both of us drop out, yeah. then it's like, oh, they might be onto something. He's smart, you see? Yeah. I think he got kicked out and I was still in school. I was like doing my thing. He would pick me up from school every day and was like, make these vlogs. Yeah. And uh, sometimes like we'll like have a little, a little event in London. Mm. I'll fly out like miss classes and stuff, and we'll do this event in London, and then I'll come back, and then we we'll, we have an event in Toronto. We'll go to Toronto and do this yeah. little event. Like uh, so, like, it got to a point where like like I, I was supposed to do this tour, a tour in uh, like 2013, 2014. It's called the 3MH tour. Nice. Me and my friends, uh, and we were touring all over London, Birmingham, Manchester, Bradford, um, all the way to Glasgow, like literally all mm. over the UK, and. Um, it was like an opportunity of a lifetime, and I just like had to tell my parents, I'm like, yo, please, like, let me do this, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, let me just take one semester off. That's how it starts. Yeah, yeah. Let me take one let me, semester off. Let me just off. take one. I'm and still going to be the doctor you want. Yeah. <laughs> but a bit later, you know, I'm going to be just studying for like eight years anyway, so you might as well just give me a year off. Yeah, ex exactly. That's exactly. But like, you know, I mean? like, it got to a point where like I love, I love doing it so much, and like, you know, that life of being a doctor, bro. Like, you, you have no social yeah. life. Yeah, you have no life at all, bro. Literally, no. And, and even I, to get the doctor's thing, you have to. How long is it? It's like seven years, right? And then you got to do your residency yeah. for another year or two. It's, after. it's four. It's four years of college, four years of med school, and then three years of residency. So it's like that's like how much? Uh, four. That's eleven years, man. Yeah, that's a long. That's a big chunk of your life. Yeah, no, no, you can't be social. Like it's like nonstop studying. And I'm a social guy. I like to be yeah. social. I like going out, like meeting people, and uh, like it just wasn't for me, man. You know, mm. I had the grades for it and stuff, but. I just, I just didn't want to pursue that, you know? Yeah, but look, it's another thing when, like, look, I'm a parent. My oldest kid's 20 now. It's one thing him telling me, look, I want to be a YouTuber. It's another him, another thing him telling me, I mean, that sounds funny because I'm a bloody YouTuber. So yeah. him, You're not doing YouTube, bastard. <laughs> but it's another thing him going, look, I'm traveling around the world. Like I've got, I'm doing a tour. So something's going right. Yeah. So then you can be like, all right, cool, look, something's happening here it's getting some traction you're traveling around so you must be onto something definitely definitely but they're, they're, they're still like hard for them to understand because they're yemenis you know like yeah, they, yeah. they come from like a whole different <laughs> whole different world so yeah. like yeah, like how are you getting there <laughs> yeah like it's so new like oh is this gonna last long like yeah, yeah. you know that, that's the question they ask like is this gonna like five years from now like are you still gonna be doing this like because yeah. it was still new at the time like mm. there was not much people doing youtube but like t it's crazy how time has changed because now today like social media is huge mm. everybody's doing social media everybody's doing youtube everybody's doing tiktok you know, it's just like the main thing. And if you go out and about now, like social media could like really like help you out, mm. like in, in, in any like field you do now. Dude, so many things. I mean, look, everyone's an influencer now, which is a, gets on my nerves a little bit <laughs> because everyone's a specialist. And I'm like, specialist how you did a uh, two month online course and all of a sudden you're writing specialist in your bio. It's like, come on, man. <laughs> it takes people 10 years to become a specialist and all Definitely. of a sudden you're an eye doctor because you you know know how to put contact lenses in it's not the same <laughs> thing dude at all <laughs> like at all but okay do your thing but like i think the thing is because people get so many opportunities i mean when i was doing my fitness um influencing and all that stuff i didn't pay for anything yeah like i'd get hotels i'd get this i'd get that and i was like oh, this is pretty cool yeah like, i can bum i can bum off this for a long time but then it got to the point where i was like eh, no 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 i need some money now yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, so that's I think that's the trade where people need to kind of figure out how long you've been doing something and getting freebies, barter deals, and when 
does it turn into actually a living that you can do? Yeah, definitely, right? definitely, definitely. Um, and uh, that's the one thing that's cool about being out here in Dubai, because mm -hmm. like that you get like any any being a so, like influencer, bro. Like you, they love influencers. Like, yeah. You get anything for free out here. Yeah. And that's why I was like, damn man, I should I should have been out here a yeah, long, like, a I'm long time ago. I'm moving to Dubai. <laughs> yeah. I haven't paid for a meal or a room <laughs> in like a year now. Yeah, I should have been yeah. out here a long, long time ago. Cause like honestly, like one of our biggest like fan bases is out here in the Middle East, mm. and we never like really took it. We did a couple of shows out here. We did shows in Kuwait, you know, mm. and uh, and Bahrain, and and uh, and we did many times in Dubai, but like. To, to, to be out here now and to be living out here is, is different, yeah. you know? Like, I've been here for four months now, and it's like, it's like I, sh I should be, I should have been out here for a long time ago, that's what I thought. Mm. So what, okay, so where did it happen? What kind of brought you out to Dubai in this last time around? Not the shows and that, what made you think, okay, I'm, I'm coming out to Dubai now? Wait, for, uh, for, for this, uh, for this, this time I'm Yeah, here? this time, yeah. Um, well, th what brought me the first time out here was Social Knockout. Okay. Social Knockout One. That shout was out Tam. Shout out Tam Khan. That's my brother, man. First yeah. time, I, 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 huge shout out to Tam Khan because he he gave me this opportunity. You know, especially when I was at probably one of the lowest points of my life. Yeah. He gave me this opportunity to, to shine on a big stage in the Coca Cola Arena. And um, how did I, it come about? Did he contact you or you guys? Yeah. Uh, well, they contacted uh, Adam and I uh, when we were in New York because we're mm -hmm. supposed to be fighting on an event in the UK, but it was like holding off for like almost a year. We we're waiting for this event to get get put on. You know, uh, and it, it, it didn't fall through. Like, like you know, I was supposed to be fighting a YouTuber by the name of Anisan Gibb. I was supposed to be fighting him. You know, it was supposed to be a massive event in the UK. They said March 2020. March comes out. Like, oh, we're pushing it to June. Mm -hmm. June comes, and th they kept pushing it. And to the point, uh, we got contacted uh, from from TK, and they tell us they, they want to throw a, uh, you know the first Arab influencer event mm -hmm. in Dubai. I'm like, yo, I'm down for that. Cause that's like one of my goals. Like when I was doing this boxing thing, where because uh, I I've fought in London before. But one of my goals in the future, I want to fight in the Middle East. But mm. I didn't know it was going to be my second fight in the, in the Middle East. So I, I got the opportunity to fight. I had the fight uh, on July 30th. And I won, I won the fight with in a 30-second TKO in the first round. Yeah. And like, cool. yeah, and uh, like literally, uh, it, it was like it, people loved the fight. People were coming up to me. They were showing me mad love. And after that fight, like, yo, they, we want you to come out in Dubai and do your next camp here in Dubai. And like, you know, just fo you know, focus on growing out here. You know, build, building your brand, and it was like just like life life changing opportunity. You know, like literally, it was like it came it came out of nowhere. Literally, I, I didn't know it was gonna be out here in Dubai like months ago, but here I am. You know, like like God works in mysterious ways, honestly. Yeah, for sure, bro. I remember, I, cause I, like I said, I was at Social Knockout too. Uh, Tam hooked me up with some tickets. I went there. I was right there in the front. Again, your fight, one of the only fights that I enjoyed because you can fight. I appreciate you know that, what I mean, bro. and. I'm not going to talk about the other fights. I'm going to talk about the fight that I almost had with about 315 year olds. Yeah. Which by the way, when you guys came out, they were giving you mad love, dude. Yeah. Like they were getting hyped. So the baby comes out. Oh, oh, I, heard, I think I heard my cousin was telling me something like that. Bro, the baby comes out and I turn around. Have you seen the Lion King before? Yeah. You see the bit where Simba's standing in the thing where Scar makes the the herd of gazelles yeah. or the buffaloes go down there. I could see little chips on the floor shaking, bro. I turn around, bro, and there's like a hundred little kids running towards me, bro, just to get to the front to see the baby and all that stuff. Oh man! And the way they were climbing over me and jumping, I was, I was like, nah, this isn't me, mate. Listen, this is the wrong guy. Don't be, don't be stepping on me like that. Like, I, I got to the point where I was like, I think I'm gonna throw one of these guys over the the barrier and stuff. They were wilding out, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then I was like, nah, this isn't for me, bro. Like, I, like if, if I'm going to the next one, I need to be a ring man or something just to stay away from all these people, bro. Yo, it my, was mad. That's that's great. My cousin told me the same exact thing because he got trampled too and he was so mad. I he think was your so cousin, was he sitting at the front of the barrier? Yeah. I think they were like three seats away from us. Was it like four of them? Yeah. It's like yeah, three, yeah, I think they were like, yeah, because they were cheering you on and I was like, yeah. One of them kind of looks like you, right? That's my brother. Yeah, my I think I was right yeah. next to your brother, bro. Wow. Yeah, like literally two seats away. And I remember they did the same. Like, so when that happened, I literally walked up to the top of the thing and I just stood there and I was like, let me let these kids do their thing, bro. Because I'm like, I'm going to kidnap at least four of them and, and murder them. Like, <laughs> like this Yo, is I, I didn't know it was that bad, bro. The fact no, that you're no. telling me, because my cousin no, no, told me, no. I'm like, nah, like. No, 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 it was bad, bro. Yeah. It, it was bad. Like, I swear, they were, there was no fault for human life when those kids were running, bro. They were like, and even like after when the baby went off, I could see them all like limping back up to their chairs because they all like, 
It was nuts, bro. That's crazy. But other than that, that event, Social Knockout 2 was... The event was cool. The yeah. event was nice, bro. It was like a massive um, event, man. Like, it was crazy. The turnout was crazy. Because the first one, yeah. we, it was like, we had COVID rules. It was like, they only allowed like 1,500 people in the arena. Mm. But this next, the second one, they had, we had thousands of people in there. Like, you know, it was hyped, bro. Yeah, it was yeah. hyped. It was, it was good. Tam does that, right? If, he, if he's if he got something in his head, bro, he's going to make it happen, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm when, looking forward to the next one. And then when, when I came out to, to that fight as well, like, because the dude I fought, he's from here. He's from out, from out here yeah. in Dubai. So he's from Abu Dhabi. Yeah. He, he had a big fan base too. And they were booing. I, I remember them booing me yeah. on the way out. I was going out to the ring. I, I, that's one thing I remember when I was walking out. I hear them boo. They're screaming boo. And I was like, like I was just like holding it in my head, bro. Yeah. And I kind of. You, you could hear it, yeah. I, I heard everything. I, the, the, the arena was crazy. They were yeah. going, they were going nuts. Yeah. It was like I was like, wow. This is like it was like triple the first event. Mm. But yo, like honestly, when I asked, after the knockout, like. No, the knockout was nice, bro. It was yeah. sweet. It was sweet. Yo, it was a crazy feeling, honestly. Like, I felt it felt amazing, man. But, yo, now it's time to take things to the next level. For the next event, we're, mm. we're trying to take things to the next level. And we're in talks of trying to, like, make me headline. Mm. Inshallah. Hopefully, like... I, I personally think you should be. So I hope so, man. Hopefully, like, if everything goes through, uh, the way we plan, we're trying to lock in this big name. Once everything's done, we're going to make it happen. Again, this is the crazy thing about YouTube. I mean, we have only got to look at how the YouTube boxing. When it first started, you got KSI and you got Jake Paul and Logan Paul and all that. And people are like, look, I ain't watching this stupid shit. Bunch of YouTubers fucking fighting each other. It's like, fuck off, mate. I'm not, yeah. I'm not interested in this shit. Look at it now, bro. Yeah, it's getting serious now. Woodley just, Woodley just got knocked out by Jake Paul. I can't believe it, honestly. See how much money's on the table. It's nuts. Now people are like, nah, you've got to give these people some respect. Yeah, like, that's why I, I got to give, I get respect to Jake Paul because like, he, he he's 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 putting respect on YouTubers' names. Like like mm. he like people are respecting YouTubers now and like and YouTube fighters because of Jake Paul. Because like, bro, Woodley, a five-time champ, UFC champ. Like, he's a tough dude, man. He's a very See? tough guy. You know, like he's he's a, he's a UFC legend, and he got slapped by Jake Paul like so bad. I didn't expect it, bro. Yeah. I thought it was gonna go the distance, to be honest. And then he got slapped so bad, like front I, face I first. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna go the distance. I thought Woodley was gonna get it this time. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, I thought okay. Enough of the enough of the rubbish now. Woodley's gonna. I think so because Woodley's thing. tough, man. Like that's yeah, what I'm saying. That, this is the thing because you get a lot of this is YouTube, right? So the YouTube world, you've got, and we'll get into this later because it's affected you a lot. You get a lot of people that actively go out to hate, and a lot of people that actively make shit up out of nowhere. Yeah. So then you had that. Oh, you know, they got stuff in their clauses where they're not allowed to knock them out, and but this time it's not in the clause. So then it makes you think. Was that in the clause last time? Did 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 Woodley kind of hold off? Because there was that point. Remember in the first fight where yeah. he knocked him against the ropes and then he stood back a bit. Yeah. And then it was like, ah, oh, so it could be interesting this time. Is was it, so. That's the thing. People always make these theories, you know. Like even for the second fight. Yeah. So there, there's there was this like viral TikTok going around of saying because uh, Jake Paul before he threw the right overhand right, he he turned his glove mm. or something like that. People were like, oh, he turned his glove to signal that it's time to get. They, they, people make anything up. And the thing is as well, it's like everyone that's done that. I pretty much put my house on it that they're not a fighter or they've never been in a fight in their life yeah. because you need to be serious near from the Matrix which you wouldn't know because you've never <laughs> seen, the, seen the Matrix but yeah, you know how in, on point your concentration has to be to see that during a bunch of punches to then think okay this is my it's not like yeah. a especially in the sixth round bro yeah. like you're, you're, t you're tired you're, tired, these you're punches. heavy you're yeah, yeah. punches and, and he's close to you and it's like it's nuts. Yeah, it, it, it is nuts, man. But, yo, once again, I, I give huge respects to Jake Paul. You mm -hmm. know, um, he, he, he helped put a lot of respect on YouTube fighters, and I uh, appreciate that, you know? Yeah, and he's, got, he's opened up the doors, and I think what needs to happen is more YouTube fighters need to, yeah. need to fight. Yeah, because yeah. it's a case of, okay, he has put respect on YouTube fighters' names, but there still aren't enough of them doing what he's doing. Do you know what I mean? Cause yeah. He's doing million dollar fights kind of thing. So they need to kind of open it up and just be like, look. Yeah, they're, they're, they're planning on doing more events in 2022. Right now, like, um, there's a bunch of other, like, YouTubers trying to start their own promotions and stuff. Like, mm. there's an event in UK trying to go on. There's, um, there's, there's other people talking about making their own events. So I feel like 2022 is going to kick off to, like, a whole different level. Mm. Like, this whole YouTube uh, boxing thing. It's going to kick off to a whole different level. But I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes, you know? Yeah, me too. But I just... <laughs> I think these people are forgetting that boxing is not a new sport, bro. Like they've been make, doing this and doing events for hundreds of years. So for you to just start your event and, and, and think a lot of people are going to watch it and it's going to be really successful, it's not easy. 
yeah, do you know what I mean? So yeah. the reason why Jake is getting all of this kind of all these views, these pay per views, and all that is because the people he's fighting, mostly, or someone else on the card is a is a big name. So it's not only difficult. That, Jay, Jake is also g great with marketing. Like yeah, he, bro. His, his marketing, he talks a lot of shit. He makes. I feel like the people. If you make people hate you, like that, that's how you draw. Yeah. Like look, look at Mayweather. Like he made so many people hate him yeah. that they, they pay every time to, to try to watch him get knocked out. Yeah, but. everyone's waiting to see Jake get knocked out. But look, yeah. he's he's uh, he's put it up there and he hasn't been knocked out yet. Yeah, he's doing his thing. But the time he does, if he does get knocked out, like it's gonna be it's gonna be everywhere. <laughs> Even if it is though, look at yeah. it like this. If he has another ten fights with decent opponents and he gets knocked out, I don't think that's a problem. Yeah. I because so he's too. proved himself so many times and he's done that and you gotta remember like even yourself you guys started boxing late dude it's not like a you guys have always boxed professionally since you were young yeah you guys just decided one day you woke up and you're like oh fuck it i'm gonna box <laughs> do you yeah. know what i mean and then you start the training and and even the mind as a boxer like for example how old were you when you started boxing well i was 25 I'm 25 now <laughs> the difference between a, a 25 year old and a 17 18 i mean boxers start young they start 13 14 but yeah. the difference of the learning curve it's hard bro even at 25 to, to start something completely new and be sparking people out as well it's not an easy thing i yeah. think people take for granted yeah a, a lot of people really like like they, they, especially me i get underestimated a lot because yeah. because of my frame slim. as well <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, i'm very very slim but one one thing people don't understand that I really put in the work, you know. Yeah. Like I only been doing this for two years, but I really like do it full time. You know, mm -hmm. I I work with world champions. You know, I spar with world champions. Uh, I I, tr I spar with amateur fighters, and people don't, people don't understand that. And so yeah. every time I'm winning these fights, like they're like, oh, they're making excuses. They're like, oh, nah, yeah. he's fighting some of them not difficult, yada yada. So like, but I'm taking things one step at a time because I'm still new to the sport. You know, yeah. I'm so I'm still learning every single day. But we're, we're gonna take things to the next level. You know, like um. But my first fight, you know, I broke the dude's nose. Not mm -hmm. bad for my first fight. Mm -hmm. Second fight, I went in 30 seconds. And the third fight, it ended up in a vicious knockout in the yeah. third round. So, like, the fourth fight, I wonder, we'll see what's next in the fourth one, you know? Well, it all depends if you watch The Matrix before you do that <laughs> fight or not, bro. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, you'll get those kind of, like, really good, like, uh, swaying, bro. And you watch it and you see. But then again, you got to remember, you also have the Yemeni gene of one of my favorite boxers of all time, bro. Princess Team. Nas, bro. Yo, you know what's crazy? He he watched me fight on my se my second fight. He yeah. he was there. Like yeah. that was like something like like because I looked up mad, to him so right? much. Yeah, yeah, it was so mad. I looked up to him when I was a kid. Like so, he was like because for Yemenis, bro, like we, we didn't have we don't have no one famous that's Yemeni. Yeah, we have no one to look up to. But he was someone that did something on a on a, on a global stage. You know, and he was like so he had so much swag. Yeah, know, that's like, what I'm saying. Yeah. He didn't just do it. He did it in a way. He took the piss out of people. Yeah, bro. yeah. Like, like his, his swag is timeless, bro. Yeah. Like you see his, his clips of him just dancing and having yeah, fun. Yeah, he's slapping the glove together, doing the yeah. shuffle. It's, it's yeah. such a G shit, no, bro. Naz, like, Naz was a G, bro. Yeah, he's straight yeah. up G, bro. And he, he was there watching me fight, bro. Yeah. My second, like, bro, like it's something I cherish. Like, so I mm. still brag, like I tell everybody about. It. Like, yeah, yeah. my dad used to watch Princess Team like all the time, like you know, yeah. growing up, and he was like, wow, like he couldn't believe it, you know. But now I, I chill with Princess Team. I chill with him. I chill with his kids, Adam and Sammy. Uh, and Suleiman, I love them, bro. They're, they're, like, they're like my little brothers, you know? Yeah, bro. Nas, I mean, I love Nas since I was yeah. growing up. Man, I'd like to get him on the podcast, but I know that he doesn't really like doing interviews and these kind of things, man. But Nas, I used to love, bro. Yeah. Like, I even... Nas, if you're watching this, <laughs> I also had that fucked up fringe because of you, bro. That <laughs> dumb fringe that I had. Remember he had that fringe that used to come over like yeah, that, bro? Yeah. I did the same shit because of him, bro. Um, like I look back at the pictures and I was like, oh, Naz, you fucked up my life, bro. Yeah, like, that would be sick for you to have him on because like, he, yeah, yeah. he's, he's a good speaker, man. Like, he, he's so, he's yeah. so chill, bro. He's so chill. Like, he's one dude, like, mm. you could just sit down and just talk to you for hours as well. So, mm. like, you know, what that, he achieved, bro. Again, like, what he was doing, I think people, I mean, he did get his props, for yeah. sure. But I don't think people realized how efficiently and how he did it. Like, I don't think I've seen one Naz fight where he looked like he was taking it seriously. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's always having fun with yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. Yeah. Like, he would do shit like, like, you know when your little cousin comes to fight and you're like, all right, you little shit, come here, come, come. Yeah. Come, 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 come. <laughs> do you know what I mean? He was doing it in a way yeah. where it kind of felt like, you know, just like that. Like a little yeah. kid was fighting with him and he was like, let me just do whatever like the new kid comes into the gym and you're like all right spar with me a little bit you know this is one thing i i told him when i was i was like, I was like nah, so you, I, I, like if you were fighting in the time of social media oh, I, th I think you probably would be one of the most like he's one definitely one of the biggest fighters in the world but he'll be on, on a different level yeah. you know because like, conor mcgregor is really popular because mm. social media and his trash talking i feel like he'll be on like way 
like way on a different level. Yeah, way bigger. He's he's huge now still. Like, but from back in the day. But like, imagine with social media is just mm -hmm. taking things to a whole different level. That's what it was. And he was also. I mean, you know, a lot of people give Khabib props because he's the one that after every fight he's very religious. He's always like, you know, I like to thank Allah and all this stuff. Like Naz was doing that way back when no one was doing it, bro. Yeah, not only that, no one was doing on, it on racist TV. Like yeah, that's what I'm saying. Channels, yeah, yeah, you know, racist like channels in a time where. It wasn't cool to be a Muslim kind of thing. Yeah. And not even that, when people didn't even know what they were talking about. Do you know what I mean? People were like, Who, who's this other guy who keeps saying thank you? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But he, after every fight, he was there. He was, you know, doing his thing, repping, you know, not afraid. Because, you know, this happens a lot when you're... I don't know if you got this in America, but me growing up in London, it was kind of like... I mean, I was lucky because I was there very young. But, you know... You get a lot of this in the diaspora and in other countries where when you're in America, you're an Arab. When you're in Yemen, you're an American. It's like you don't quite know where you really belong. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Does that make any sense? Like whenever I go back home or something, they're like, that's the English one. Do you know what I mean? When I'm in England, they're all cool with me. But at the end of the day, they're like, all right, you little Arab, be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's like you're not quite placed anywhere when you've been raised in a different country. That's the kind of Western world. You know, so he was there in the Western world just still you know shouting out like not scared at all yeah man it's 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 it's, it's he's like the khabib versus before the khabib exactly which is was just cool you know he there's a picture there's actually a picture of him meeting <laughs> khabib too and khabib lo loves and respects him as well like mm. man like one thing prince uh told me as well like before after my second fight he's like yo i wish i could come out of retirement and do what you do because I, I do like this little thing for it. i come yeah, out yeah, fight yeah. i got like the bow and arrow, yeah, yeah the bow and arrow yeah, thing yeah. that's what i do and uh he's like i wish i could i, I come back out of retirement and do that to my opponents and like it's sick, it laugh, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's nuts. I mean, yeah. seeing, and that's another beautiful thing about this whole social media stuff. Because I mean, even through this podcast, I've got to sit with real legends. Um, you know, footballers I used to grow up watching, who are now my friends, dude. Wow. So through this social media, you end up meeting people just like Naz. Like twenty years ago, fifteen years ago, you would never have thought when you're watching him that I'm going to be having a shisha with this guy. Like chilling out and, and having a conversation right so that's another way that social media kind of changes lives yeah definitely definitely like the amount of people i met through social media is is, is unreal like yeah. like a, a, all my a lot of my closest friends today like i, I met is through social media so like it's just a, like a new way of life mm -hmm. <laughs> literally mate let's talk about hate and haters because this is oh, this man. is a subject that i think we need to talk about definitely definitely bro oh man especially for like this year 2021 it's, yeah. it's been a kind of like a roller coaster for me personally how did you deal with it then um when you first started youtube because you and adam used to get kind of a group hate right a hate of you two together because you kind of used to do things together um when you were younger did it affect you a lot more than now um when i was in the beginning it, it, it did affect me at, at some point but i learned to suppress it kind of like i, I learned to, i learned to suppress it and and just move forward but now like 2021 like it's been kind of like a controversial year for me mm. so like like it, it didn't really it doesn't really affect me online but it came to a point where it's starting to affect me in person mm. you understand it's, and it's that, that, that that's not something i'm really really used to you know like i don't know like the, the, i don't know if you've seen a picture on my instagram like recently that i, I had like a, a broken nose yeah yeah so you seen yeah. that so like i i on instagram i kind of mentioned it was from like sparring and stuff but mm. it's not it's not really from sparring okay. you know like i was uh, it was actually out here in dubai Okay. I, I went to I was I was at Five Palm. I was with it was me and Adam, just us two, you know. We were in a, and I go I'm walking out. It was like 8 p.m. Literally 8 p.m. at night. And I go, we come from a shisha lounge, and uh, Adam is in his car. We go in his car and we get we get, like, approached by a group of dudes, like okay. like 10 guys. They they come they surround our car literally, and they they go up to Adam like, and they they're trying to like press Adam like you know they're sticking his hands in his car. Like, oh like. They're just talking shit for no reason, and I was like confused. I mean, for like five, ten minutes. Arab dudes or um, from Pakistan, the okay. Pakistani guys. Um, and then um, they're just like, you know, they're, they're just trying to like, they're trying to bitch us for yeah. no for no reason. Literally for no, we don't know these guys. I have no idea who they are, you know. It, for no reason, just trying to bitch us, you know. And like five minutes, they're talking shit, yada yada, and then it got to a point where they're sticking their hand in the car, the car window at, to Adam. So I I got a little upset. I get out the car. I was in the passenger seat. I get out the car. I walk around. I go up to the dude. I'm like, yo, what are you doing? And after he just pushes me, he pushes me, and I react. I react with the right hand. Bang! Mm. I crack him right away. Mm. Not knowing when I do that, <laughs> all of his boys yeah, yeah, they come yeah. charging toward me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they're coming toward <laughs> me. I'm backing up. You know what I'm saying? I'm just throwing yeah. one, one twos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of them touch me from the front. Yeah. One guy comes from around the car, and he 
bangs me yeah. from, right from the side, literally from the side of my nose. Yeah. And uh, I didn't feel nothing like until after the altercation. I have a video on my phone, like, yeah. like but all, th those guys are not fighters or nothing, because mm. as soon as they're getting hit, they're running away. Yeah, yeah. They're just like hitting and running away. So they're not fighters, they're like tough in numbers. Like th yeah. those kind of guys are tough in numbers. But so I didn't feel nothing, because like security came and they broke up everything quickly until I kind of looked in the mirror. I saw my nose, it was like a little crooked. Yeah. It was like a little off the middle, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And uh, I ended up uh, having a little surgery just to crack it back in the yeah. middle. But like, I was like, is that, is, over a stupid situation for yeah. we, we do, I don't even know why like literally I, I don't know why and they, to this time you still don't know why I, I have no idea why they did that like literally it's, it's so confusing but they were, they were trying to bitch at him and we got, it was, we fought it was like two guys against ten people literally wow. and but we, we held it down like it's not like they stomped on us or nothing you know they're just like throwing punches and just running away type shit where know? was this five five pounds in five pounds five mirror, if you can get me some cctv footage i'd like to watch this and then do a compilation video yeah, <laughs> I'll yeah. just be like, and here you see slim throwing one too and he <laughs> steps back here's another bitch move from somebody else who runs in <laughs> yeah man, that's it, crazy it's, it's crazy it's, it's crazy and, and now yeah, this is uh bro it happened twice here in dubai another time really? uh, I'm, at, I'm at this lounge bro like i'm, I'm at this uh I'm at, I'm at a lounge i'm chilling with my friends it's just me and a a, a few a few girls that i know mm. um this one dude comes up with his phone like this. Like I thought he acts like he acts like a fan. Mm. He comes up to me, he's like, yo, Slim is the biggest pussy in the world. Like, I'm like, I'm so confused. I'm like, what? Like, he's like, yo, yeah. come let me take a picture with you. That's what he says. Let me take a picture with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm being nice. After I, he said that. No, for first he says let me take a picture oh, okay. with you. So yeah. I, I come up to him, like I, I leave my friends. I, like, like I like bro, most people say no, like, nah, don't yeah, you yeah. know, especially when they're chilling, you know. Yeah, yeah. They say nah, don't I, me be the nice guy that I am. I get up. I'm like, yo, what's up? And then he says he starts talking shit. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm laughing. I take him as a joke. I'm shadow boxing in the video. I'm yeah, like yeah. shadow boxing, yada yada. And then he, uh, 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 he's still talking shit. So I whisper to him, I'm like, yo, if you really got a problem, you can come to my gym tomorrow because you know we mm. can sort something out, you know. Yeah. And then uh, he, he's like, oh nah. He's just screaming some weird shit. And then I don't know. He just shoves me. He just shoves. It's on video. Yeah. And he just shoves me. And I, bro, I, I'm I'm so confused. I'm like, yeah. it came out of nowhere. And after that, I, I just run up to him and I smack the shit out of him. I just slap him. And then yeah. security comes, breaks everything up. And then he just posts the clip and he cuts the part out where I slap him. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So to make it seem like he, oh, I, I, for clout. This yeah. is what people. This is what people do for clout. And that's kind of the kind of scary thing of t like mm. today of being an influencer because the man, the, 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 the what people would do for clout is, is crazy. Mm. It's crazy for just for some views and just for some attention. Oh, look! Look what I did, to Slim. Look, like they, anything to 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 make someone look bad, like they'll do. You know, it, it's crazy. I don't get it, bro. There's a, there's a lot of hate for no reason. Yeah. Especially when I mean, I think more so when you're a YouTuber than just an Instagrammer or whatever. I don't know what it is. Like, I mean, I'm sure if you type my name in YouTube, that you'll find someone. Like, AJ is part of the Illuminati. Look. He's got his eye closed and they'll find a clip of me with my eye closed where I'm blinking or something. There's something going in my eye, right? And they're like, look, he's doing the three, the three fingers and the eye. It's, it's like people make shit up for no reason. Like yeah. it, it's nuts. And, and I don't understand where their mind's at when you just want to hate on somebody else. I don't know, man. Uh, it, it's weird, but like, you know, the, the hate really, I don't care online hate, but like when it comes to like in person, mm. it's, it's, it's weird. Mm. It's, it's it's really weird, especially like I'm getting it from fellow Muslims. Mm. You know, these are fellow Muslims, bro. Like you know, like mm. I always show love to my fellow Muslim people. You know, like it's just, it's I I find it really weird. You know, like it's, 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 that this has been happening, especially out here in Dubai. Like mm. I'm, people like saying when I tell people this, like yo, it's happening here in Dubai because like yeah, I'm surprised. Too. The, the, it happens like 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 there's like serious offenses that could happen, right? Mm. Like you get locked. Yeah, up but you find that a lot of them that are doing that don't live here. They're probably here on holiday. Yeah, probably. Yeah, and they're just like they see the opportunity so they were just like let me just quickly make a video or or get that kind of stuff <laughs> it's, it's it's funny man I, I i just laugh at it now man but it's, it's just stupid like it's, it's so stupid it's childish like these are grown men too by the way yeah grown ass dudes like literally in their mid-30s and everything. i swear you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm in my, tw my mid-20s and like these are grown dudes doing shit for clout on the internet just for some likes but it's all good man whatever teach their own right yeah well they watch the takashi 69 video right and they just like okay this guy's making some money off these uh these views and stuff it, I don't know, man. I mean, what what do you think it is from the from the Muslim community that is that you're getting hate for? Well, um, all right. So this is kind of like pew 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 exclusive. Exclusive. This is definitely exclusive. Yeah. I haven't spoke about this for for months, but basically, it's 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 kind of a long story. But I'm, I'm gonna speak about it right now. So, um, I was in a relationship right mm. for five years, and um, this is Sophia, right? 
uh, yeah, I was, I was, we were together for five years. I used to be my, part of my videos and stuff. And uh, it's been about almost a year now, but we, 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 we broke up. Mm. You know, we, we, we separated, we decided to separate. You know, for us to be the best versions of ourself, you know, for her to be the best version of herself and for me to be the best version of myself to meet my dreams and for her to be, uh, achieve her goals, we, we had to like, we decided to separate, you know, it was just for the best, you know. I cherished the moments I had with her, you know, I still I had love and respect for her and her family, but it, it was just, it, we, uh, the relationship just came to a time where we needed to separate. And, uh, but when everything happened, when we separated, we decided, I decided to keep it on the low. Like mm -hmm. I, I didn't want to mention it publicly. I didn't want to say nothing for, for a while, at least for a little bit, you know, until I got my mind right, you know, cause it kind of like, the relationship kind of got me to a dark point, you know, in, mm -hmm. in my life, you know, like, like I was, I was really sad. I was really depressed. Being in the relationship. Uh, I mean, like after like, you know, everything okay. we've done, I, I was really sad, honestly. Yeah. But, um, uh, uh, when I was in Dubai, uh, I was in a party. Uh, I mean, like I got invited to this party, yeah. right? And I, I was, I was, um, it was, it was on a, on a boat. And um, I'm not proud of it. I'm not mm. proud to be a part. You know, like yeah. I was at a very dark point of my life. I was very sad. You know, I, I I go to this boat party and I got caught like on video, like dancing with this girl. Mm. And this, this clip go is everywhere. I've it's, seen it. I've seen it. Yeah. It's, it's literally everywhere. This bro. was while you were with. No, no, no. We was not. We okay. was not. This is. I didn't. I didn't say nothing. We we haven't said nothing about our relationship. I didn't mm. say nothing. I stayed quiet about it. So that's the problem. Yeah, because I've seen videos and and it says, he's cheating on her. Blah, the, blah, 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 blah. See, that's yeah. the thing. That's yeah. the thing. That's what people are saying. And the people that are starting these rumors, are they they, they run hate pages on me. Like there's, it's kind of weird to say, but there's there's literally dedicated hate pages on me and Adam. On me and Adam. Like literally, like, wow. they they. They, they work, they hate on us like it's a nine to five job. There's pages literally dedicated. Oh, Adam Slim did this, Adam Slim did that. And, but they, they, any way they could shine light in making people hate us, that's mm. what they do. Like literally, bro, every tweet, there's a Twitter account, there's a TikTok account, there's a YouTube page, like, like they dedicate their life mm. like it's a job. I wonder if any of them are verified. I'd be pissed if one of your nah. pages are verified nah, before me, bro. Nah, they're not verified. <laughs> yeah. or anything. They're not verified or anything. They, yeah, they, have yeah. a, they have like a little small following. But is this from the Muslim community or from just mixed communities? No, no. I, I think it's one person running it all. Yeah. Like one, one person running this, all these pages. And the reason why they run these pages because like dumb hating on us. They they, they don't have a following, but dumb mm. hating on us and making these crazy titles gets them mad views, bro. Mm. There's views on there's videos on TikTok that have hundreds of thousands of views. Like literally just. You know, Slim Adam did this. Slim Adam did that. Like, oh, look at this post. Like, and they're spreading false ass rumors, these fake ass rumors, bro. Like, mm. and they posted one on YouTube saying, "Oh, Slim cheats on, you know, uh, you know, like, you yeah. know, my ex." You know, they they say that uh, on the video, and everybody believes it. People believe it. People mm. actually believe it. But the thing is. I don't like I don't blame him for not believing because I never spoke nothing about my mm. relationship. I never said nothing because mm. I wasn't ready to speak about it. You know, like I wanted to wait until like the end of the year to speak about it to start fresh. That, that, mm. that was my plan, but. I kind of caught, I got caught in the video. I got caught lacking. And um, I mean, like, I'm, I'm, I'm wrong for that. Obviously, like, I, I shouldn't be, you know, out partying and stuff, you know, like, but I was just at a very low point in my life. And I just, I, that's the way I kind of like dealt with my pain. You know, mm. I was going through a lot of pain and that's the way I dealt with my pain. Mm. But I mean, it's a very difficult thing because you being in the public eye or whatever is strange because if anyone else decided to go to a party who isn't you know a youtuber or whatever and was going through the same shit as you no one would give a shit yeah, yeah no one would say anything yeah do you know what i mean but because you have this persona they feel that they have a right to attack you for doing these things do you know what i mean i feel you and not, not only that because I'm, I'm a muslim man as well too yeah. So like, you know, like a Muslim shouldn't be out, go, you know, going around partying with girls and stuff. Mm. But so I, I do understand why people like, I mean, you can hate on that, but like. You're a human being, dude. Yeah. Like, you know, everyone, I don't understand. This is what I don't understand. It's like, okay, the, you're a Muslim, fine. But that's between you and Allah, bro. What you do is between you and Allah. And I don't understand this because it's very clear in Islam that you have no right to judge no one and don't get involved in people's stuff and blah, 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 blah. Where these people, because look, everyone sins, bro. One way or another. And if they don't know they're doing it, it could be a million other things. It's like highlighting somebody else 
doing something, whether it be at a time of their life or not, is not a good thing. Yeah. It's not a positive thing. They're not going to get props from, you know, the afterlife, whatever, going, oh, I like the way you did that and you highlighted somebody else's sins. I'll, 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 you know, it, they can be like, hey, that's backbiting and that's, you're, trying to, you're trying to ruin someone's life, which is probably even worse than the sin that he did. Exactly. And, and the people that's, the, the person that's actually helped spreading all this stuff, doesn't understand that it's not just affecting me, yeah. but it's affecting family. my family. Yeah, like yeah. imagine like my little sister, my little brother see this video. My little sister texted me the video. She's like, she, 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 I, was, I was speaking to her about everything. And she's like, she, she told me she was crying when she saw the video. She's mm. like, my, little, my, my, my brother's lost in the dunya. That's what she told me. Mm. And it broke my heart, bro. That's my, that's my baby sister, bro. Mm. My little brother sees these videos and stuff, you know? Like he sees these hate videos and people go up to him in school. Like, like, mm. and, and like he doesn't know how to react to them. He's, he's a young, he's a young little kid, you know, he's in high school. You know, so people don't understand like that. It doesn't just affect me. It affects my family. The domino effect that happens when yeah. they do this thing. But again, people have this, again, this whole keyboard warrior thing and this whole behind the scenes thing that, that as long as they're anonymous, they don't have to take responsibility for anything they do. Definitely. And I think that they don't realize because they're kind of stuck in a little game where they might not even realize what they're doing. You see what I'm saying? They're in a bad place themselves. For you to want to go out and highlight someone else and ruin something. But I think part of them don't even realize because you're not a real person to them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you, you're a, a figure. They watch so many movies. You're just part of that kind of, you know, that world. They don't have any connection to you. They don't know you as a person. They, they've never sat with you when you're upset and been like, oh, that's my boy. He's upset now. Like, I kind of feel bad. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So to them, it's just like, let me just do it, whatever. And they don't realize that yeah. these are still people. Like all of these people you see are still real people living their own lives. But because they're not connected to it in the slightest, they don't realize the effect that they're having by doing these things. You, you know what it is as well, too? Like, it's like... you. Know, Clout is kind of a drug, like the mm. views, the no they see the numbers they get, you know, spreading this information about, you know, Adam and I, they see the kind of the numbers they get and it's like a drug, you know what I'm saying? Mm. They get addicted to it. And it's, it's, it's not just this person, there's another, like, there's, there's I don't, you remember you told me how you saw a video of oh, a girl? That girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dude, she's got like 10 videos of you, <laughs> like all about you and Sophia and all that stuff. And, yeah. and, and it's like, well, what's going you, on? You I wanna, don't understand. You want to hear even th something even more messed up, bro? Like even more crazy? Like... My little brother actually contacted this person. He's like, yo, can you please take this video down? This video is affecting my family. Like, you're literally spreading rumors mm -hmm. and affecting my family. Literally, like, you know? She's, uh, she ends up saying, what am I going to get out of it? Like, so, like... Was it, are you going to pay me to take it down? That's what I'm saying. Like, wow. is, that, is that the agenda? Like, she knows that that kind of video gets numbers. It gets numbers. It, it's going to generate rev rev revenue for her. So... That's why she doesn't want to put it down. And the, the sad part is that person used to come to my shows, our shows, Adam wow. and I shows. Used to come to my shows, you know. And I used to be so nice to them. I used to take pictures with them. I used to spend take time, extra to g give them extra attention when, mm -hmm. when there's hundreds of people and like in our shows. You know what I'm saying? I used to give extra attention to this person. And when they have a chance, it's like any chance you give someone a knife to mm -hmm. stab you, they'll take it and they'll stab. That's that's how I feel, bro. I mean, it's, look, it's, it's very difficult because I've seen videos. And I'm not searching for these videos. It's just like, whenever I, like for example, when you were coming on, I was like, let me see, because I knew we were going to talk about some stuff. Let me see what's going on. Ah, oh, this apple juice video, and he's drinking, and he's doing alcohol, and blah, blah, blah. So what? I mean... No, 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 I know what you're saying. You need to portray a certain thing. Yeah. But it's like, why, why are these people so invested in pointing out other people's... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but like even in th those videos, like I'm not even drinking anything. That's the funny mm. thing. I'm just a r I'm, a I'm around no, no, it. No, no, no. You were because the color of the apple juice when they put <laughs> it in the pH <laughs> tester <laughs> and stuff, you can definitely tell. Yeah. Even the ones in glass, ones in plastic, you can yeah. definitely tell that one is alcohol. Well, like one I, is apple I, juice. In, in the videos, I don't even have a cup in my hand or nothing. That's yeah. the funny thing. But the thing is, the fact that I'm surrounded by it, like yeah. it's like you're, you're you're guilty by association, kind of. But this is the thing. I mean, maybe I'm different, and maybe there's going to be people who say, "Oh, you're not a good Muslim because you're not." pointing him out for drinking or blah, blah, blah. But the way I think is, so what? Not so what you're drinking, but yeah. the fuck's it got to do with me? Exactly. That's what the, the fuck's it got to I, do with that's me? That's the way I live too. You know, like, what does it got to do with me? You know, like... Like, what has it got to do with me? Like, I don't, I don't care. Like, it, it doesn't make sense. Like, it, even if I'll pull you over and I'll be like, because I don't drink. Yeah. 
I still go places where other people are drinking yeah. and I know Muslims who drink and I don't go there and go to them bro you know this is this is this isn't this if it's my boy I might be like bro you need to kick that shit I'll say it once and that's it because I'm not going to keep it you know what I mean keep yeah. saying it every time like who am I I've, I've, just, I've done my bit Khalas is done bro like this guy is living through his life you don't know what people are going through bro do you know what I mean? 100%. Everyone has their ups and downs and their lefts and rights. And, and if it's not one thing, it's another thing. And it's just like, how are you focused so much on somebody else's thing? And, and, and again, you said it, bro. A lot of it is for views and stuff yeah, like that. And absolutely. it's like, wow. Like yeah. that's, for me, that's even, that's even worse. Like I don't want them views if they're at somebody's expense. Yeah, man. They're, like they're, they don't understand like the, the kind of damage that they're putting to someone's mental and everything, but it's all good. It's, you know, it's all good, man. You know, I just, I'm just trying to like push forward and just, just do me, man. But like, also like the, the, there's, there's always been crazy rumors mm. like being spread around me and Adam, you know, like mm. for years, like, you know, y since years ago, like me and Adam, we, we have like a very close like bond, you know, we have mm. a, like a bromance kind yeah, of thing, you yeah, know. Yeah. We always show each other love, you know. Yeah. Like I give him kisses in the cheek. It's my brother, legit. That's like legit, my legitimate brother. You know, we mm. show each other mad love, you know. Mm. Even I, I have this bromance with like all my close friends, my yeah, friend yeah. Wakas as well. But um, there's been a rumor people spread around like years ago. This is, it yeah. started years ago that me and Adam, since we're so close, that they they, they try to make it seem like Adam and I were homosexual. <laughs> it's it's crazy. I know it's funny as hell. It's funny to think about. But they spread and there was a, people actually photoshopped pictures at one point, showing make it seem like me and Adam kiss each other in the mouth. You know, no I made a video about it debunking it. I'm like, I made, I made it as a joke. I'm like, Adam, I'm, I'm making it seem like I was coming out of the closet. I'm like, Adam and I are not gay. I'm like, yo, mm -hmm. like, it's just funny. Like, I'm like, look at this picture. Like, I showed the picture. I talked is, about yeah, it. Yeah, this is the thing the lengths people yeah. will go through, bro. Yeah, it's, it's great. And, but it got even worse in 2021, like this year yeah. as well, because a certain individual who, who, who's a legitimate criminal with a mugshot on the internet came out and spreaded some crazy rumors about Adam and I saying that we did things with a homosexual, which, which is crazy. It's mm. It's not true at all, but you know, people actually fell for it, and some people believe it. Like, there's, there's a small mm. community out there that actually believe Adam and I are homosexual. Mm. You know that? Like, it, it's, I, it kind of baffles me. Like, when when this rumor came out, it, it started spreading around like everywhere because it was mm. it was during like Pride Month. You know? Because it's cool, bro. Like, it's a, it's new, it's a new fact, no, no, right? No. As far as they're concerned, yeah. the haters. So the it, thing is, it, it came out during Pride Month, so it started yeah. spreading around everywhere. It was on TikTok. Everyone's talking about Adam and Slim and this, Adam and Slim and that. And at first, I'm like, yo, I was so upset. I'm like, what, people actually think this of me? Mm. A Yemeni Muslim man? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a Muslim man. I'm Yemeni, bro. Like, yeah, people, but that, that doesn't matter, bro. And then, and then there's yeah. loads of guys who are from, from any country but and not, any not religion that, and all that stuff. Especially in 2021, yeah. bro. Like, you, like this, this homosexual Why agenda. Why were they is, quarantining yeah. together for so long? <laughs> yeah, like, it's, yeah. especially in 2021, like, this homosexual agenda, is like, it's, it's kind of like yeah, yeah, in yeah. our faces now. You know, yeah, it's in yeah. movies. It's, it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, if you open up TikTok now, there's a lot of Muslims that are in the closet that they're they're yeah. openly gay. There's Muslim, mm. I'm Muslim and gay. Like, it's open. Mm. So, like, I had to, like, sit down and try to understand why people think like this, you know? Dude, again, it brings me back to the same thing. If I saw a video of a guy going, I'm Muslim and gay, I'd be like, Cool, it's good for you, man. Yeah, saying like I have no see problem what happens, with it. Bro. <laughs> Let's have, see what happens, bro. Let's see what happens later. Yeah, yeah like, exactly. <laughs> like you're on your yeah. own journey, bro. Let's yeah. see, bro. I think you're wrong, but who knows, bro? Yeah. It's not, it's not my business. But you yeah, see, like that's the thing. Like I, I don't have no problems with no homosexual. Yeah. I don't. But like when you try to like get my name and try yeah. to say that I'm like me and Adam are. You know, there was a bro. group of gays that going. Finally, we <laughs> we've got them. They're coming to the team. <laughs> that's what we had our eye on Adam and Slip for a while, and now they're gonna party. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, because they're trying to use our name, like our name, because yeah. we're, we're we're public, uh, we're, we're we're popular Muslim figures. Mm. So, like, the same the fact that oh, Adam and Slim, popular Muslim figures, it's okay mm. to be Muslim and gay, you know? Mm. But it's not right. Because I saw something about that where Adam was Adam took a picture with James Charles. Yeah, is that the? Yeah, yeah. The We're, guy who wears makeup or the yeah 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 James Charles. Oh I, I don't know the acronyms and all that shit, bro. I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't know him, Shim, Shah, all that stuff, and I'm not gonna get into it. It's not that I care. Yeah. I just I can't keep up, and I don't I don't know him well enough to know or her or whatever well, they're, they're calling themselves. We, we we met we met that person. That person's a very popular figure. Very yeah, yeah. very huge, very very popular figure. Uh, we met him at Playlist Live in Orlando. Yeah. Just, and just took a picture of him just, and then just a picture I mean like he's a very well known figure like, I mean it's, it's nothing serious yeah. bro. it's nothing crazy and the Dawa community came yeah. out and was like yeah you guys are promoting that the, kind of stuff right yeah exactly they came out and they, they was they, this the same time that they, everyone was saying you guys were gay um 
because that would be the worst timing, guys. <laughs> like, uh, you're not helping your situation at all, it, bro. It, it came out a little bit after that. <laughs> I'll say it came out a little bit after that. So yeah, people started yeah. using those videos and yeah, pictures yeah. and stuff. Um, and the reason why people I, uh, were coming out with the gay thing, because, like, we, we got associated with a certain person, mm. a, a criminal individual. Like, mm. the one thing I, I made a big mistake of in 2021 was associate with my people, with, with certain people. That like like associate with people that are friends of friends. Not wait, we, it not wasn't that guy who was uh, doing a lot of scamming, was it? Who James? Are you talking? Who are you talking about? There's a guy that was doing lots of scamming in America. He's an Arab uh, Muslim you're, guy. You're talking about James Zini, I think you're talking about. Yeah, that guy. No, that's not that oh, guy. Okay. I, I don't know him personally, but okay. um, uh, one thing. So when I travel, I always mm. travel with like large groups, like mm. 10, 10 to fifteen people, and when, when I was staying at a, a certain spot in Miami, and um. Uh, it was 10 to 15 of us, and we're sitting in like a big villa, huge mm. villa. So every night, you know, the guys, well, they'll bring people. Every mm. night, there's, there was people I was meeting. Like, I don't know mm. what the hell they were, you know? And uh, a certain individual came around us, took these little videos and stuff, and, and they used that to try to spread this rumor that Adam and I did a certain thing with a certain individual who, who's a criminal, you know? Like, it, it, it's kind of crazy to think about. Well, as in did something sexual with him? Yeah. So he's a gay criminal? Yes. Okay. I get criminal with the money. This is cool. I don't want, want to say what it is, but yeah. it's, just, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a he-she. Okay. So it's oh, sick. He's a tiny twi- criminal. <laughs> He's a transvestite criminal. Yeah, it's sick. crazy. It's both. <laughs> sick. Both. It's, it's, it's kind of my fucking Okay, wait, wait. So they've got videos of you guys. They're saying they got videos of you guys doing it, or they were just no, taking no. videos of you guys? No, it's, just, it's like, like literally distant. I, I oh, okay. know, we didn't know what it was, bro. No one know that, but like, thing is, when like, you say you don't know what it was, are you talking about the person or are you talking about the situation, bro? The person. <laughs> Literally, so you thought like, it was a female, huh? At the time, at, at the time, knew? at the time, I didn't speak to it. Okay. I didn't speak. I didn't say nothing. You know what okay. I'm saying? I didn't say nothing. So like, imagine. Like, I think in this t- day and age, you can't call it it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For, uh, I'm at a, <laughs> we gotta be very yeah, yeah. careful. I'm careful. Yeah. About now. Yeah. Okay. So you just, you guys just took a picture. No, it was not a picture. It was like a like little. Wait, video. I'm really interested. What is he a criminal for? What is she? Sorry, a criminal like for? Credit card scams. Um, this is what I found out after. Okay. Credit card scams, um, like theft and all, all this shit. So like, this person came out saying all, all this crazy shit, trying to like, try, trying to so like make a name you, for itself. So because you guys were in a picture with a transvestite, you guys were gay with that person. I mean, you guys were having yeah, yeah, homosexual sex with that person. That's what it is. This person. person came out saying some crazy shit. So did that? Oh, that person yeah, came out and said it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he said. Sorry, uh, it's really difficult, man. She said that you guys did something sexual. Yes, bro. It's, it's, it's bro. It's, I, I never want, like I, I didn't want to speak about it because at the time I was like, yo, like I actually got to speak about this shit. Like I actually got to like, but the defend thing is, myself. I defend myself, yeah. but at the same time, I blame myself. I'm guilty by association. Like I'm, so I was associated with people who just bring ra- randoms around me, mm. and it's, it's my fault for that. Like I, like I learned a huge lesson in 2021. Like. It really fucked with me, man. Like I really fucked up this year, like like with that with that and kind of, that kind of situation. So <laughs> it's so good. It's funny. I know you don't laugh it up. It's funny. No, I'm sorry, dude, because it's just like no, it's, it's funny. weird. It's funny. I, I find it funny that because I, look, I don't know what happened in yeah. that situation, but yeah. I find it funny to be in a situation where you have to defend yourself about something like that. Like it's it's a funny situation. It, it is a funny situation. It is. If if you if you weren't in the public eye. And somebody started spreading rumors, you'd be like, "Fuck off, man!" But you have to actually now say, yeah. "I did not have sexual relations yeah. with that lady, Miss Lewinsky." <laughs> bro, like, I, oh my god, bro, it's it's so stupid, bro. It's okay, so this person is in prison or out? Um, so they're, they're no, still no, saying, not in prison, no, they're not in prison, but they're they're they're, they're criminal. Legit. So they're still saying, no, no, they're no. sticking to their story. Yeah, literally, like they made a whole a whole legit narrative, like a crazy narrative. It's like. And I don't want, I never want to speak about it because I thought, I didn't think people would believe it. But it got to a point where like, I was in London and mm. I see some old friends and they, they were mentioned, yo, is it true? I'm like, what? Like, mm. did that, I was like, yo, what the fuck? Like, did they actually believe it's true? Like, the people, like, some people have it like in the back of their head and they always probably have it in the back of their head, but. Look, at the end of the day, nobody knows. You huh? can always say, yeah, yeah, of course it's not true, but you, only you know yourself, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact that I'm I mean, you and Adam shouldn't have it. done that, to be honest. Like, uh, it's not, it wasn't a good move, dude. What? Don't do it again, bro. Well, no, no. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, 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 yo, hey, yo. It's just, it's just, you know what it is? Like, oh, yeah. it's funny to, 
to laugh about it now. Like, yeah. I, I, I find it funny. No, yeah, I can imagine in that situation <laughs> where you first hear about it and you're yeah. just like, what? Yeah, yeah. So like the, the whole like the homeless community was going crazy about it. That's what kind of made it trending, you know, like and everybody was the, the homeless community, homeless, the homosexual community. We're going crazy about it in a good way or no, in no, a bad no, it was actually, way? It was the Muslim community. The Muslim community so like were going the, in, a, in a bad way. Like Adam and Slim did this. Yeah, yeah. Adam and Slim did what? Like it, it was going crazy. But you know what? There was there was actually some certain Muslims with some with a following on TikTok that defended us. Like yeah, yeah. oh, we should give the brothers benefit of doubt. I'm gonna give you a shout out to Adil. His name is Adil. One of the guys I seen a video of him. His name is Adil. Yeah. Yo, he, he he like he made a video like saying oh we should give them the benefit of the doubt and I, I respect that. That's mm. that's the way it should be. That's the way, like, a true... Slim's like, innocent until proven guilty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, bro, it's, it's, it's yeah. kind of a fucked situation, but, like, well, like, the, the fact that I even got to speak about it here mm. with you, like, I, I can't imagine what you're thinking, bro. Bro, I, I think it's the funniest shit I've ever had in my <laughs> life, bro, to be honest. And if we can do another half an hour just on this subject, it would be great. Oh, no, no, man. but again, it, and again, it drives back to that same situation where, okay, your family must have heard this too. Yeah. So, yeah. like, that, this is where people don't, well, but people don't realize how these rumors go deep into the family. But the thing is, the person who spread the rumors was was a known Islamophobe, okay. like le legit Islamophobe, uh, a racist. You know, like bro, ter evil human being, mm. evil human being, really, really bad person. And yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I didn't want to speak about it because, like, I, I didn't think the source was credible. Yeah. Like in my head, I'm like, yo, like this person is not credible. Like for the shit they're saying. Yeah. But the fact that I was associated, like. Like I was just around that. You're like, oh shit! There's it's, a picture of me there. So. That's the thing. It's it's yeah, fucked, yeah. bro. It's yeah. it's super fucked. Like the fact that I was just around it. So like like me personally, I want to apologize like to to like my family, my friends, you know, everybody everybody close to me. Like like it, it's 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 such a it, it was such a fucked up mistake, kind of like mm -hmm. just I, I learned so much. I cut off a lot of people this year. Yeah, I cut off a lot of people this year. You know, I'm growing. I'm still growing. I'm I'm yeah. still young. I'm 27. I'm young. I still feel like I'm the beginning of my life. Mm. Like I'm still learning so much. But all, all I can do is just learn, just grow from here. You know. I think that's the more, the most important thing that you gotta just kind of deal with, and you're on the right point because, look, everyone's done dumb shit in their life. You will never find me one person who doesn't have a dumb story or somebody has a dumb story about them. Do you know what I mean? It's like let everyone just fucking deal with their own shit. It's just like, every, you know. You're always a bad guy in somebody's script. Definitely, definitely, hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? 100%. You're always the bad guy. And so th this this whole situation kind of yeah. turned us into like evil, like the evil Muslim guys. Oh, you guys are terrible Muslim. You guys, uh, some people say, oh, you, you, some people are asking me, did, did you move away from Islam? Because yeah. it is like it's it's it's, it's, it's crazy. Like the, the situation really f like kind of fucked with us a lot. You know, brings me back to the same point. <sighs> Whose business is it, bro? Yeah. Like I'm not just trying to I'm not here to back you Or to back anyone yeah. up But I'm just a really firm believer And Just don't get involved In people's lives bro Just Unless it's affecting Your community Meaning If you're my next door neighbour And I start seeing you Bringing transvestite criminals Into the house <laughs> And my kids are like What's going on there Then that affects me So I'm going to come to your house And be like Listen mate You've got criminals in the house it's, it's, Come on do you yeah, know what I mean? But yeah. if it's not personally affecting somebody, like what business is it of anyone? Like let people deal, let people make their own mistakes, let people do their own thing. Because at the end of the day, life's hard enough just to live it normally yeah. and, and, and live it the right way. Yeah. It's hard enough just without any of this other shit. Like why do people want to add to all of this stuff? Yeah, I mean, it's just... Bro, it's kind of humiliating just the fact that I gotta say like, yo, I'm not homo. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like I, I gotta say that, yo, I'm not. Like, it's That's like hilarious, bro. But I learned to laugh at it, like, because yeah. it, at one point it became a meme, like yeah. on, the, on the internet. <laughs> bro, send, you wanna, send me that shit. You, you, know, you, know, you know what the meme is? It's, yeah. it's called like, no, it's just in the comments. It's yeah, a meme yeah. in the comments. Okay. It'll be like, Adam and Slim likes men. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't doesn't describe the fact that Adam and Slim like men. You know, it was just like every yeah. a top comment every single time. You know, like Adam and Slim like men. You know, I'd find it funny after yeah, a while. Yeah, we, we, like, we started. We, we all started laughing about it. Like, you know, during the yeah. whole social knock build up, build up, mm. it was all like literally in the comment section. Yeah. <laughs> literally, that's the only reason Slim wants to box is because he wants to be close to another man. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> yo, see, that, that's the type of shit people comment. Yeah. Like, I swear, that's hilarious. That's the yeah, keep bring it on, bro. Keep it going, man. And then they'll say like they'll, they'll talk shit like oh like oh Slim has beef with this person like Slim takes him. Yes. In bed. Like sh <laughs> That's great, bro. It's great. It's great. Take it like you are now. Like you laugh at it, bro. Take it like that, bro. Because at the end of the day, look, when it boils down to it, nobody knows you yeah. like you. 
and again, you're on your own journey, bro. You got to deal with your own sins. You got to deal with your own stuff. Definitely. No matter what other people say, it's not going to change where you're headed. It's not going to change your decisions in life. You're on your own journey, bro. Just live it and just try to try to do the best you can, bro. It's like a there's this reel going, and it's a fucking hilarious reel. And it's like one of these people is like, "Hey, what was it? Something like, what do you do for a living?" And then the person's like, I'm trying, motherfucker. I'm just trying. Like, do you know what I mean? It's just like, leave me alone. Why are you asking me? Like, just leave me alone, dude. Oh, man. It actually, honestly, like, imagine this. I kept a lot of this stuff, like, everything I'm telling you, like, mm. bottled up for a long time, bro. Like, bro, get it out, bro. Who cares? And, and keep the attitude. Who yeah. cares, bro? Yeah. So, like, imagine, like, I kept everything bottled up. Like, and it kind of, like, like I, I was really, like, down. Like, I was telling you, I was at a low point in my life. But, you know what kind of saved me? Boxing. Like, boxing. Mm. That's why I love it so much, too, because it was my therapy. It was legit, my legit therapy. And all my anger, like, I had against the world for, like, all the shit I would get. Mm. I took it, I'll take it out in the ring. You know what I'm saying? That's why I got that savage nugget. That's why, you, get the spark. Yeah, that's why got, you got that hook, son. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I had that savage nugget. I swear, I took out all my anger in that ring that day, like, literally. And it, but yeah. lucky, look, lucky you're strong mentally because... Yeah. There's been people who've committed suicide over stuff like this. Yeah. Because they were getting online hate and stuff like that. Like, you could have yeah. done something like that just a, an easy way out because of and this is what people don't realize it's all jokes until somebody can't take any more of it of the hate and all that stuff so people need to be really careful about what they're putting out there i mean i know me saying that ain't going to change nothing because haters are going to hate yeah for life definitely do you know what i mean but if at least one troll takes something from this and goes yeah actually you know I, I hope so, man. I hope so, man. But well, I, I appreciate you for listening. No, to no, this no. Like, I want some more, bro. Tell me one other fucking hey, shit. I told there you, must I, be some other contra controversy that's that's coming hey, up, man, bro. I, I said a lot. Of, I said a lot of the major points. Like, I, and honestly, I never really thought I would speak about it until I told you. Like, I, I saw some friends in London, and they started mentioning the situation to me, and I was like, like, damn, like for mm. real, like that's when it really like hit me hard. I'm like, yo, I, I need. I need to let it out, and that's when I hit you up. Yo, I just want to speak to you on the yeah. podcast. You had no idea what I wanted to tell you, man. Look, I'm all good, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but look, 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 serious question: Was she hot? <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> He's like, I'm definitely not gonna fucking answer that question. Nah, 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 nah. nah. Um, yeah. So what's 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 going forward from here? What's going forward? Apart from fighting people and getting on getting on yachts. <laughs> Hey man, yo, honestly, yeah. like, um, where do where do we where do you see yourself from here? What's what's the the future for Slim? Well, the future, um, my future is out here. One thing I know, the future is gonna be out here in Dubai. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm I'm gonna continue boxing because that's that's what makes me happy, and uh, uh, that's that's I feel like that's gonna take me to the next level, especially. So next event where we're we're planning on doing it in March, most nice. likely it's gonna be in, it's gonna be in March. Social Knockout Three is gonna be huge. We we have big plans for it, so I'm very very excited for that. Um. I'm I'm uh I'm uh, I'm gonna head back to New York soon. Uh, okay. I'm planning on going back to New York soon. Um, go see the family for a bit, and then I come back to Dubai. Just do my training camp. Just that's it. That's it. You know, it's work. I'm, I'm gonna jump back on YouTube as well because I haven't uploaded in a while. I was, I was gonna like, ask that. Yeah, because every time I would upload, the comments would be kind of crazy. So I was like, yo, let me take a little break from this, man. You mm. know, I, I just want to take a little mental break from the internet, and like, I, I literally just that's what I'm saying. Boxing, like, it really, mm. it was my therapy, literally my therapy. So like, I, I stopped uploading like on YouTube for a while, but. I'm gonna focus, jump back on YouTube, focus on YouTube as well, uh, and just grind. That's it. And get it done, man. Get it, get done. it done. And uh, congratulations to Tarek as well. Oh, my brother Tarek. Your hey. brother. Yeah. He, um, <laughs> get engaged. You. Yeah. He got engaged. Mabruk, now. mabruk, mabruk. Thank you, brother. He's he's having his wedding, in in mid January. Nice. And you know it's crazy because like he's having his wedding, at the same time where I'm supposed to be going to this charity event in Yemen. Yeah. I'm supposed to be going to Yemen with Muslims of the world. Yeah, yeah. We're supposed to go like um, you know uh like. Uh, raise money for the starving kids out there nice. and, I, and I haven't been to Yemen for 12 years it's something I always wanted to do so it's a project we planned for 8 months and it's the same time of my brother's wedding the same yeah, like, yeah. like it's literally like one day apart so like I'm trying to see if they can fly me out a little bit later but if they yeah. can't I might have to miss this project yeah. which sucks but it's my brother thought I was wedding and I can't yeah. miss it you know no you can't miss it bro your brother's a cool dude he is not scared of the smoke bro yeah. <laughs> he's a, he's I saw a video with him and Fousey bro oh, and my. you were like Bro, like, what are you doing? Oh my god! I loved it, bro. Yeah, you I loved saw it? It. yeah, yeah, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> Your brother, the, there's nothing like someone who just tells it like it is, bro. That's that's yeah. that's that's thought of, That's the he thing about him. All the smoke, yeah, bro. That's the thing. Yeah. He's, he's he has a you know, 
he's he's a character bro yeah, he, yeah. and that's what he he just says it how it is like mm. he has no filter and that's, yeah. that's, it's a problem it's kind of sc- it's i'm kind of scared sometimes being around like yeah. him meeting new people because sometimes he'll just say some stupid shit yeah, like yeah, i'm yeah. like damn thought it <laughs> yeah but at the same time you could just think back about it just be like yeah you said what i wanted to say <laughs> like <laughs> do you know what i mean oh my god that was that, that video was hilarious bro honestly <laughs> dude. dude it's been absolutely amazing you coming down and sharing with us um you know we got many more episodes to come since you're going to be coming out here and living out here yeah definitely, um, definitely. especially building up to the fight um it's going to be interesting to do that i'm going to make sure i'm sitting nowhere near any kids for that next fight bro because i can't do that again bro i definitely will commit murder bro it's just <laughs> not something that i want to do bro like um but again yeah look, it must have been difficult for you to kind of share how, how you're feeling about all these things but again just i mean I'm not a guru to, guru to advise you, whatever, but just live your life doing you, bro. Because yeah. nothing is gonna, nothing's gonna change you, but you, right? Definitely, definitely. I, I appreciate you, man. You know, I I really appreciate you for for letting for for letting me vent to you about mm-hmm. everything and just speak about everything and try to clear up certain situations. Um, I'm still a young man. I'm still learning every single day. I'm still trying to grow as a human being. Mm. And uh, inshallah, you know, we'll just see where. God takes me, you know. That's it. Trying to start the new year off right, man. I have so much great things going for me, even though that there's so much like holes in the way of my life. But I feel like it's only up from here from now, you know. Like yeah. everything's going great, everything's going amazing. I got blessed in so many different ways, and I said we're just going up from here. That's it. That's it. Just live it, bro. Because it's it's never all up. Yeah. I mean, one thing I've learned from 40 years on this earth, it's never all up. Even when things are good, you get a shit slap in your face and just put you back down again and you just be like, ah, oh, fuck's sake, all right, cool, I need to go back up again. So it's like, it's ups and downs in life, man. Just just ride the wave, bro. That's all you can do. Ride the wave until you reach the shore and then that's it. Yes, sir. That's it. Yes, sir, man. Boom. Guys, I've been AJ. He's been Slim. Thanks for watching. Get in them comments. Um, yeah, I want to see one of those comments about why Slim boxes as well. <laughs> hey. wow. um, and yeah, like, subscribe, comment. Boom.